Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining on time. My name is Rohit. This is the third session out of 16 complimentary sessions for German A1 level. Last time, we learned four things. You learned the German alphabets, of course, how to pronounce them. Then we looked at the greetings, things that you can say when you meet someone for the first time in German language. Then we looked at the things that you can say when you take leave from someone in German. Also, we looked at... Uh, pronunciation of special word combinations because German is a phonetic language uh, so if you know how to pronounce one word and if those syllables from those word uh, uh, occur in some other word you can also pronounce you, you know how to pronounce the other word if you don't know what I'm talking about please go through the recording from the last session today's agenda as you see on the screen you already know about it so last time you learned how to greet someone you also learned how to take leave from someone, but you cannot just greet and take leave, right? You also have to have a conversation with them. So to have a conversation, you will have to say a lot of things. So you will have to say statements, right? You will have to say sentences. Now a sentence, like, so th because this is a kind of a session, I have to simplify things, right? Uh, and when I simplify things, there will be some loopholes in the explanation. It's your job to find out those loopholes. If not, it's not a big deal. Don't try to find the loopholes. So when you have an interaction with someone, basically you are saying a set of sentences. Now, sentences can be classified into two categories. A st sentence is either a statement, like an answer or just a statement, or a state, or it can be a question. So, you know, a conversation is nothing but a set of questions and answers. So stay answer is nothing but a statement like you know you say something question can be of two varieties so question i mean of course you can say a question can be a rhetoric question or a question can be not rhetoric but here i'm trying to say question can be a yes or no kind of question or a question can be a w kind of question for example are you are you a german this is a yes or no kind of question what are you this is a w kind of question who are you where are you these are w kind of questions so that is what we will learn today. How to frame a statement, how to frame a yes or no kind of question, how to frame a W kind of question. Once we have done that, you will learn to count in German language. And then uh, in the, okay, yeah, I think I <laughs> learned to count and I, apparently here it's one, two, five. So it should be three and not five. Yeah, irony. Yeah, so you learn to count and then the third topic will be you have to, uh, you will learn some new German words. Yeah. Any questions, please feel free to raise hand and then we can, you can ask your question. If there is someone who cannot hear me, please log out and then log, uh, log in again. Disclaimer for the who are joining for the first time. Please understand if I, if anybody or like, let's say if someone like me has to teach you German and has to say that uh, now you are, you know, I have done my job. I need at least 100, at least, okay. Ideally, I need 140 hours of FaceTime with you. FaceTime meaning I need to spend 140 hours with you. And then I can say I have done my job. I have taught you all the things that I wanted to taught, teach. And I have been, I have done, you have done the exercises. I have, you know, corrected your exercises. And then I can say, okay, now I have done my job. But I don't have, I'm not spending 140 or 100 hours with you. I'm just spending 16 hours, maximum 20 hours with you. 20 hours, I cannot guarantee anything. So please don't. Uh, depend on just these sessions to prepare for the language exam. Will they help you? Of course, they will help you, you know, but they are not enough. You will have to do a lot of exercises on your own. That is the disclaimer. Let us start. So what you have to learn today, you will learn how to write simple sentences in German language, write or how to frame simple sentences in German language. If you ask me, if you ask someone like me, I will say a sentence usually needs two things you know a sentence usually needs two things you need a subject and you need a verb right subject plus verb is a sentence for me yeah but a subject can itself either be a noun or it can be a pronoun so what i'm trying to say is to say a basic sentence you will say noun and some verb or a pronoun and some verb yeah so what we will try to do is we will try to frame a sentence with a noun and then we'll try to frame the same sentence using a pronoun so we'll use some appropriate pronoun for the noun that we are using so here are two sentences max schreibt and because i know max i mean i'm referring to max someone who i know and he happens to i mean he says he's a guy so i will use the pronoun air for him 
what is air for now just accept that air is something like he in english okay so air is a pronoun which you can use for people uh, who are like man yeah so mark striped so instead of marks you can say air so here what i have what we have done is we have just learned to frame a simple sentence in german language so we have learned to frame two simple sentences in german language subject verb subject verb schreibt mean, means to write yeah in present tense mark schreibt means max is writing or max writes er schreibt means he is writing or he writes let us look at the grammar so at the first position you have the noun and at the second position you have the verb here at the first position you have the pronoun and at the second position you have the verb meaning in german language if you want to frame this a sentence you will have the verb at the second position notice i'm not saying you will have the the subject at the first position because the position of the subject is not fixed it is fixed but so it's it need not always be at the first position now you'll say if not at first then it will be after the verb schreibt yes then you will say so it will be like schreibt marks no there will be something before the like what i'm trying to say is that the position of the verb is fixed in a simple sentence in german it is at the second position what is at the first position so normally you have the subject that subject can be noun or pronoun it can be something else as well right so it can be like uh, i mean we'll talk about that later so at the second position you have the verb at the first position you have the subject and here the subject is either noun or it's a pronoun that's how you frame simple sentence in german language let us add some context so if i say mark schreibt you of course want to know what is mark's writing you know or what does mark's write so here i'm saying das book book is nothing but book das is just except for not only to think what is das for now just think this is i'm saying the book so mark is writing or mark writes the book he is writing or he writes the book again i have underlined this part because i'm saying i don't think object is necessary to complete a sentence but if you want to add an object if you want to say object after subject and verb it will be after the verb yeah so please attend pay attention now so i have told you that the verb is at the second position and normally at the first position you have the subject right now i am adding one more point so i am saying the verb will be at the second position but the position of subject and the object can be interchanged so either i can say marx schreibt das buch or i can say das buch schreibt marx either way is fine yeah it depends on how you talk so grammatically marx schreibt das buch is fine das buch schreibt marx is also fine but you have to say it like that so if i say marx schreibt das buch it's i'm trying to say das that marx is writing the book but if i say das buch schreibt marx it it sounds as if like the book is writing marx so you have to say it like that so you will say das buch schreibt marx you know you are trying to resemble some if i say who is writing the book you will say das buch uh, uh, marx is writing so das buch marx schreibt schreibt marx please understand to avoid doing any mistakes for now at least as long as you are in a1 level make sure that you have the object after the verb okay don't try to write the object don't try to uh, you know like show off that you know understand the grammar for now just make sure that the object is after the verb okay to avoid any confusion all right let us so now that you know how to frame a simple sentence let us see how you can frame simple w kind of questions okay who when what where something like that yeah how to frame that it's not that difficult if you see so yeah shiva please ask uh, yeah rohit you told like uh, shrive means it can be uh, like writes or writing yeah but uh, writes means uh, it will be future tense and writing will be present tense how yes. it can be used as both so writes will mean like you know simple present tense and write he is writing will mean like present continuous tense this is like from english uh i will talk about this in german it's little bit different so in english you have like you know you have present future past then in present you have simple present present continuous present perfect then you also have present perfect continuous tense right so each tense will have four more varieties in german it's not like here that. in this sentence uh, marx schreibt das buch means uh he is writing the book or he writes the book both how we can understand both so yeah how you understand is like uh, if i you have to so the german language this concept of uh, like this present continuous and like you know so is something being done or some like marx schreibt das buch marx writes the book you are saying you know marx is someone who writes book 
Marx is writing the book. It's like you know he's right now doing it. Both are in present tense. In English, you can say one is present continuous, one is just present tense. In German, these things are kind of subtle, so you don't read it like from the. If if I'm reading it, you never know. It depends how you talk about it. For example, if I say, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you do? You know, what do you do? And if you happen to be an author, you will say, Ich schreibe Bücher. I write books, right? I write books B- because I asked you what do you do and you answered it. So I understand that you are saying you are someone who has who is in the profession of writing books. But out of nowhere, you know, if I just read Ich schreibe Bücher, I am not sure exactly what does the person mean. So is this person who is someone writes books or is this person right now at the moment writing multiple books? So your question is uh, good. It's just that in German, this on from the looking at the sentence you cannot say whether it is present continuous or simple present it is difficult to say that so it has to depend you have to understand the context did i answer your question or confused you more yeah but it is uh, still uh, yeah simple. so the straightforward like, answer uh, is you can never uh, know what does uh, straightforward uh, like uh, in a class uh, teacher will ask to student uh, did your friend uh, wrote the answer like something uh, mm-hmm. she will ask so the student will be answering and that uh, he is writing or he will write you he may write will write you it's something else so uh, i uh-huh. mean to be to be to, i mean this is like higher level concept from higher level mark schreibt das book can also mean like you know he will be writing but to be if if you really have to say in future tense it will be like mark wird das buch schreiben i mean if you have be like if you have to be perfect in german language about future tense you will use the verb werden and the, you'll have to use two verbs at the same time yeah so in future tense we can do it but in present yeah. tense so in present tense just understand that uh, for example uh, for example if i really have to make it like you know like that if i want to say marx is writing the book at this moment i will say suicide schreibt marx das buch suicide mean in the time being or in this time then it will be like present continuous but this sentence on its own it's difficult to say i mean i'm saying i cannot guarantee does it mean marx is writing the book or does it mean marx writes the book i cannot say that it means both it will depend on the context yeah right 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 thank you yeah yeah for example if my boss says roy did you did you finish the code and i'll say uh, you know i'm doing it right now so i will say ish makhadas ish makhadas means i am doing it or i do that it means both now if my boss you know like uh, for example uh, it depends you know like it depends on the context so i know it sounds like, like how will you ever know it once you start talking you will know yeah yes okay yeah. more questions okay yeah just to sum this up what shiva asked is like you know marx wrote this book does it mean marx is writing or marx writes book it means both okay now how to how will you know you will know when you start talking yeah it depends on you will know it from the context it's not that difficult so again now you now you should learn how to frame w kind of questions in german language so here i have taken the same context and instead of saying that so now you if i say marx schreibt you know marx is writing or marx writes of course question will be okay what is marx writing you know or what does marx write so to say what you will use was okay remember i told you whenever s appears at the end of a sentence it is sir okay it is not sir it is sir so it is was and not was so in english you have i was right you say was the this is not the this is sir normal sir like uh, uh, the sun like right? sir so was was or like you know a vase where you keep flowers in your home so was so was schreibt max yeah or was schreibt er yeah i mean of course the grammar is obvious now so i'll just point it out explicitly so at the first position you have the w word at the second position you still have the verb so verb is still at the second position and here yeah manish like was so v a s e yeah was so in the second at the first position you have the w word at the second position you have the verb and you have na the noun over here yeah or the subject you can say the subject again in this sentence as well like in in this w question where you are using a pronoun so the the verb schreibt is at the second position at the first position you have the w word and then here you have the pronoun yeah so so far clear any questions please ask i don't see your messages guys so if you have any questions feel free to uh 
Ajanta, you'll have to unmute. I will not be able to read all the questions from the chat. Please raise your hand if you have any questions. So, uh, yeah, what? Okay, what means uh, word? What means word? W O R D. Yeah, yeah. So now that you learned how to frame simple sentence, you learned how to frame W kind of questions. Let us now try to learn how to frame yes or no kind of questions. You already know how to do it. I mean, so by now you know it. All you have to do is. you have to just uh, so interchange the positions of the subject and the verb so in a normal sentence you have marks shrived thus book in a yes or no kind of question all you will do is you will interchange the positions of the subject and the verb so you write the verb first then you write the subject and you may or may not have the object okay as i said a sentence does not i mean at least to someone like me does not necessarily need a subject but if you write it's fine yeah so let's look at the grammar so for yes or no kind of questions the verb is at the very first position okay notice so far for simple sentence and w kind of questions the verb was at the second position now in a yes or no kind of question the verb is at the very first position and immediately after the verb you will have the noun or the subject and you may or may not have the object yeah same you have shrived at the first position immediately after shrived the verb you have the pronoun which is the subject and you write thus book if you want to write yeah now you know notice i was telling you that uh, i told you that when you write simple sentences i told you that you normally have the subject at the first position then you have the verb and then you may or may not have the object right and i also told you you can literally interchange the positions of the subject and the verb meaning instead of saying marks shrived thus book you can say thus book shrived marks right and here uh uh okay let's uh, skip it for now yeah so i'm just saying don't do that yeah let's just skip over here i lost my train of thoughts apologies yeah so how to frame simple yes or no kind of questions verb subject and the object if you want to add any questions okay no questions so now you may be thinking right like like can't i teach you some some comer you know much better give you much better examples you know can i instead of just writing you know he writes she writes can i not give you like he programs he codes he investigates he runs of course i can do it but i have to first you have to understand the grammar right it is your job to i don't know what your profession is right so you have to think of the verbs relevant to your life yeah so in the, if you don't know what you would just did now you understand how to frame simple sentences in german language whether it is a statement an answer or a w kind of question or a yes or no kind of question now you can do it of course you have to learn the verbs and the pronouns so let us now that you know how to frame some questions let us try to ask some questions in german anyone wants to read please raise your hand don't start talking please raise your hand first of all i mean by raising hand like do the reaction of raising hand i believe uh jyoti you can start now when you read uh if you know how to read try to read slowly make sure the others understand try to read as if you are teaching yeah so uh read this five sentences please five questions yeah jyoti you can unmute yourself you cannot hear you you are unmuted but still still cannot hear you we will wait for five otherwise i'll have to give the option to someone else okay yogesh you can read Yogesh Lassi, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Right. Was machen Sie? Was lesen Sie? Was trinken Sie? Was essen Sie? Was studieren Sie? Very good. Maybe Somya can also read. Yeah, Somya, go ahead. Read the same five sentences, please. Was machen Sie? was lesen sie was trinken sie was essen sie was studieren sie so uh, those who don't know how to what this this z is z is nothing but it means you it means you uh, we'll talk about you know pronouns and all but for now if you don't know what z is z means you so was is what so mia do you know the meanings of these verbs machen lesen if you don't mind tell us the meanings Ah uh, yes, Rohit. Ah, uh, was Mackenzie is like what are you doing? Was Lazenzie is ah uh, what are you reading? 
was trinken sie what are you drinking was essen sie what are you eating was studieren sie what are you studying thank you very much somia so those who know like how does somia know i don't know maybe she did some even course or maybe she used duolingo a lot or maybe she is just very smart right don't worry if you don't know the meanings now you know the meanings right so machen means to do lesen means to read trinken means to drink essen means to eat studieren means to study now somia said like what are you doing what are you reading what are you drinking but no, she is right and if if someone else says instead of what are you doing instead of what are you doing if the someone says it means what do you do instead of what are you doing that's also right both is fine right now let's say you go out to meet someone because your family forced you to meet them you will try to know that like you know what do they do what is their profession you know so you can say was machen sie let's say if somebody is doing something and you are interested in, like somebody is like trying to uh, uh let's say your colleague is writing a code and you go and you say you know like hey what are you doing right so you can also say was machen sie yeah was machen sie can also mean what do you do you know you meet someone for the first time you want to ask about their profession was trinken sie again same example you know it can mean what do you drink so let's say if i meet someone for the first time and i want to figure out you know if they drink something what you know what do you do they like to drink so i can say was trinken sie you know like what do you drink or let's say if i am at a party and some guys are holding glass like you know they they have some glasses in their hand and they they seem like they are having fun you know of course one question to ask you know like what are you guys drinking you know so what are you guys drinking right now so was trinken sie yeah so also yeah, these guys pronounce very prop correctly but if you don't know how to pronounce this s so to pronounce this s or z just say z of new zealand you know you know how to say new zealand just say this z or the alphabet z yeah z okay z if you don't know how to pronounce this one laser so just say laser of laser yeah and there is an n so lesen yeah z lesen and if you don't know okay this word is not there over here but if you want to say ish just say ish of dish yeah ish of ish of dish any questions so if you see the grammar still holds right at the very first position you have the w word at the second position you have the verb and here you have the subject or the noun yeah z happens to be you yeah somia you have a question or you forgot to lower your hand i assume you forgot to lower your hand oh yes so, i don't have a okay no problem anyone else wants to read apart from the guys who have already read pooja motiker yes please read the sentence so now that we asked some questions let's try to answer you know if someone ask what are, what do you do or what are you doing what can you answer so so uh, pooja motiker yeah. please read the sentences on the right side for us please read slowly assume you are teaching right now Yeah. Ich lese, ich trinke, ich esse, ich studiere. Read all of them. Ich lese ein Buch, ich trinke Wasser, ich esse ein Pizza, ich studiere, uh, studiere Mathema Mathematisch. Mathematik. It's not math. It's a uh, mathematik. Yeah. Thank you very much, Pooja. Mm -hmm. Akash, you can read as well. Ich lese, ich trinke, ich esse, uh, ich studiere, ich lese ein Buch, uh, ich trinke Wasser, ich esse ein Pizza, ich studiere Mathematik. Thank you very much. Please raise your hands if you have already answered unless you have a question please keep your hands up so again the sentence the grammar still holds you have the subject so ish means i again we'll talk about you know what ish we will talk about pronouns in in detail but for just now except that ish means i ish laser means i read or i am reading ish trinka again the subject verb ish trinka i drink ish esa i eat i am eating ish studio meaning i study yeah ish now subject verb you no know, subject verb subject verb subject verb if you want you can provide more information you know what are you reading you know ich lese ein buch what are you drinking ich trinke wasser what are you eating ich esse ein pizza what are you studying what do you study ich studiere mathematik yeah just a side note studieren there are two words in german language don't have to note this down 
no need to remember this as well but just so you know in english you only you have like you know study and learn and you can change use them interchangeably not actually so learning you know so in in german you also have the same verbs but just pronounced differently so study becomes studieren and learn becomes lernen yeah and let's say if you do some let's say if you mathematics is your ba- you know you are doing bachelor's or masters in mathematics then you don't say ich lerne mathematik because learning means you know so what you learn right now studieren means what are you studying you know like something that you are doing masters or bachelor's in i hope you understand the difference any questions kart ek kirti you have a question please ask you'll have to ask no, no. not a question rohit okay okay no problem yeah ravish uh, you have a question yeah 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 just just thinking when you saying so uh, so we also say you know sometimes in english we say ish ish uh, uh, like we pursue you know we are pursuing uh, like bachelor's or master so we have something like this in uh, Yeah, so pursue, pursue. I, at the right now yeah. moment of the top of my head i can't think of the word but if you i mean you know the, so in german there is this verb machen so this verb machen yeah. is it's like i think of this think of this as yeah, yeah. so okay. you can just say ich yeah. mache master ich mache bachelor oh okay oh, but but separately there is no word like it is only in, yeah uh, there will be one it? there will be one of course okay. there has to be one i just okay. right now i cannot yeah. think of it yeah but do we use it like uh, no, like no. Or, or we we specifically of, because i like yeah in when it when you want to say like i am doing masters you don't say per so you just say maka i mean i have never heard anyone normally you say ish ish maka ish mark master people also say like even for phd they will say ish maka promotion or they will say ish promovier i don't think people use like something similar like persu in german if they want to talk about their studies Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think studiere is better, or even you can say market, but yeah, not. Studiere is word. not that often used. For example, normally, you know, like if I, if I, if some like okay, if you had asked me four years ago, what are you doing? I would have said, yeah, studiere is mark master. I would have not said a studiere master. Yeah. So if you want to talk about like your your studies, you normally say markhan. Yeah. Yeah. But markhan also means to do. I'll I'll give you example. Right. When I was doing my masters, we had this professor, head of the department, and. I don't know for some reason no one corrected him. He used to say, "Now that you are making masters, because we were in masters, in 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 his head he was translating from German to English. So you know he, he like normally in German say Z mark and master or do marks master. So and he was translating that to, he was saying, 'Now that you are making masters,' and of course we were confused. Like why does he say 'Now that you are doing'? Why does he say 'making' and not 'doing' masters? We realized that he is translating that to his head. And our batch was the first one to say, 'Sir, you you know your English is a little bit off.'" so and he was laughing like no one corrected him for the last 7 or 8 years yeah it's true i'm not making this up yeah so makan means to do but it can it can be it's like potato you can say many things using makan any more questions okay after i say okay please raise your hand if you still have questions don't say okay as the last thing so uh, now that you know how to say some questions the w questions now that you know how to say some sentences so i'm not revising again how to say yes or no question because yes or no is nothing but you reply you i mean if i want to you know like instead of this ich lese ein buch if i want to trans like transform this so yes or no question all i have to do is put laser and ich in place of each other right i can just say laser ich ein buch you know do i read a book or am i reading a book and put a say it like a question you know the way you normally say it said like a question let us look at one last time to the sentence formation of w word kind of question so let's make a little bit bigger yeah so uh yeah anybody wants to read the whatever information is there on the slide please raise your hand yeah rohan you can read rohan mengade if, if apologies for mispronunciation yeah read the vas makhanzi and read the Okay. Yeah. Was machen Sie in der uh, Wehfrage steht das W Wort auf Position 1. Position. Position 1. So what just Rohan just said like you know he's just saying the same thing in German. So he's just so in W question Wehfrage is W Frage means question. The W word what means word st- is at the position 1. Yeah, and please read, Ron. In their way, frage state das verb auf Position zwei. 
so again in the w question the verb is at the second position now why am i saying the same thing in german so that now i have told you to start reading you know so you know frage is something like question position is the position w what is like word so now you have to start learning you know like the verb the spelling is the same but you pronounce it like verb yeah verb any questions okay so rowan continue please read this uh, what w words what are some common w words please read where we wo wo here was one well sure meanings please if you can um where how no what does what does where mean where yeah what does where mean where where no no okay sorry so that is where is uh, this one wo so wo means wo. w you know you mean w like you know like where are you wo yes. that is this one so this one is who who okay. yeah so and continue we um how yes how, how many not how many just wo. how okay wo uh wo is where yeah w h e r e where you know position where, where yeah wo here is from where yeah so whenever you see just to give you some information like in this hair right it has something to do with production origin or something like that so whenever you see the word hair somewhere you can think you know it is talking about origin so wo here means from where continue please was is what one is when Welsh is which? Thank you very much, Rowan. Any questions, guys? You can mute yourself, Rowan. You have done that. So, also, uh, yes, Rudi, please ask. Um, how do you say uh, why? Uh, why is V? V. Oh, okay. Yeah. More questions. So, please lower your hand. Uh, Diksha, you have a question. Please ask. please unmute yourself hello yeah hello yeah uh, warum is also known as a uh, why uh, warum yeah warum. it's not here there yeah warum also means why very good yeah warum also means why yeah okay okay yeah. thank you uh, warum yeah it's not there i should add this yeah warum there is also one word warum it means why thank you okay most any more questions suggestions Yeah, Yogesh, please. Uh, Rohit, um, the second one, V, is how, right? Uh, yeah, the, it is how. Why. This is how. Did I say something wrong? Okay. Or This is how. Yeah, did I say V is why? I'm not sure actually. Okay, I'll just repeat myself. So, so this is who. Just one second, Rohit. This is who. Where means who. Yeah. V means how. Who mm -hmm. means. Where, like W H E R E position. Wo here means from where. Was means what. Wann means when. W H E N, like you know when. Welche means which. Now Yogesh, please. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. And okay. also just uh, in there in the statement, thus what? Yeah, uh, there is a word stat in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before it. what does it mean so uh, you know very good question like you know so this is a statement and if you see you know like normally i say in a statement the verb is at the second position now if you go by that logic second position is there but is there a verb no it's not the it's not the, the verb is here state state means to stand so in the in the w question stands the word at position 1 now I, you know so now this is what i talk about so position 2 could you good question yogesh so position 2 does not necessarily mean second word context should be important or if you should i mean so the first position means a set of words so position 2 normally will be verbs but the, so this entire thing in their way frage it's the subject of the sentence did i answer your question but this is higher level you know like now you are using a preposition over here so your preposition the preposition in and then after preposition you have a noun that is wave raga and you are using an article for it 
and actually wave raga is the but it becomes there because this is dative and now i am confusing you so let's not talk about that okay thank yeah. you yeah but state means to stand you know for example if i come in and say stay you know stay in blyvan you know please stay standing something like that yeah so so ich stehe ich sitze i stand i sit so let us now that you know again just to make sure you understood this blue box is telling you position 2 does not necessarily mean second word because if i want to say which languages do you speak so which is welsh and language is sprache so welsh sprache is the first position yeah and then do you speak sprich du so welsh sprache sprechen sie so welsh sprache is the first position yeah so what is part of the question we'll talk about this as we continue so we just remember position 2 does not necessarily mean second word yeah again we understood one more time how to frame sentences questions uh, w word word questions let us look at one more time about the grammar and the structure or the syntax of how to frame simple sentences yeah so you have ish lisa in book anyone wants to read even small practice will help you in the long way in the long run uh, yeah ravish you can read yeah uh, ish lisa ein book uh im ose gats uh, ose gatsats no you are trying to go very fast yeah. go slowly aus so, zaga so. zats im uh, aus zage zats state das subject 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 okay this is as i said german is a phonetic language you never really have to guess so you see s and then you see u so su then you see b so sub then you see yot so y sub y kurt subject yeah you never really have to guess continue yeah subject for order nach dem verb okay so i don't expect you to frame sentences like this but I, all i want to do is you understand aussage satz means something like a statement state again means stand subject means subject for means before order means after nach means order means or nach means after verb means there verb means verb right what i'm trying to say is that in a statement the subject is either before or after the verb so i'm saying the ish or whatever subject over here is it need not be before the sub verb it can be before it can also be or just immediately after the verb okay there is no hard and fast rule now when so if you say okay if there is nothing before the verb and if i put like the ish after this so it will sound like laser ish ein book and i just told you whenever the verb is at the first position it will sound like a question no but i'm saying the subject will leave its position only if something much more important comes and sits over here so if i want to say today i am reading a book or you know today i read a book then i will say heute so heute is the most important part of it because you want to specify right today so you will say heute and the subject of course it will no more be here so subject will be after the verb so heute laser ish ein book we'll talk about this you know if you have some time but understand in the statement the verb is at the second position so im aussage satz state das verb auf position 2 yeah so the verb is at the second position but the subject's position is either before or after the verb yeah any questions okay so yogesh please ask could you repeat the heute example that you gave heute lese ich ein buch do you want to explain it okay what well, um like what if we uh, place ish after heute is it is it uh, you mean like laser ish heute ein book it will sound like am i reading a book today so if i i mean you can say you know when you talk you can break play with the grammar rules but if i see on a paper you write laser ish heute ein book and if you put a full stop over there i will cut your marks i mean but if you tell me uh, uh, lazy ish heute ein book you know if i say if i am telling you like you know it's like tomorrow it's friday and i ask you hey what are your plans for today and you will say heute or you will say uh, yeah lazy ish heute ein book you know the, when you are talking it's fine but on paper it will sound wrong i will say where is the question mark if you write laser ish heute ein book and if you write full stop i will say you forgot to put the question mark you know what i'm saying yogesh 
yeah trying to i'm um, saying for now okay. don't play with the rules for now just accept that mm-hmm. uh, ish if you want to put hoiter either you put it i mean either you put it before the verb and the moment you put it before the verb the subject cannot be here subject has to go after the verb so it will be like hoiter laser ish ein book if you want to put hoiter i mean of course the, what i'm trying to say is that if you want to put something much more important over here before the verb the subject cannot be here you know mm-hmm. but if you don't want to put okay. hoiter you can put hoiter here like between laser and ein book you can also put hoiter after ein book you know but normally at the last position you have the object you know so hoiter can normally like if 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 you have to be like 100% sure about the grammar hoiter will either be over here like after laser and mm-hmm. between ein book and then nothing else you know it will be like ish laser hoiter ein book that's fine but if you want to place hoiter at the, because you want to specify like you know today you know hoiter mm-hmm. then subject cannot remain here it has to be after the verb but if you say hoiter ish laser ein book that's also fine but there should but on paper it may sound wrong in real life it's fine you know what i'm saying if you say hoiter and you don't yeah. move the subject after the verb it's fine in talking but yeah on exam you know if i i mean i'm not take don't exams but i just want you to be if you prepare for exam be careful while talk no one cares i mean people do care but as long as they understand what you say it's fine more questions please ask if i have confused you more no. yogesh no thank you so much most welcome yes i jyoti you have a question uh, am i audible yes of course okay so uh, rohit i just wanted to ask about this pronunciation pronunciation so this is uh, for v o r right yeah, so this is the so yeah this is like this dub this word this is not v in german we call it v so v so f o f and then r so either normally you can say for but normally whenever a word ends with the alphabet r you don't pronounce it you just skip it so you say for but if you say for it's fine no problem it's like you know you don't say brother you just say brother right yeah yeah then what about this is this a verb or verb something you read this for is it's just like before nak is after no, these are this verb, verb verb is there verb, so when yeah. do we pronounce it as for and when yeah. we pronounce it as well yeah off the top of my head i don't remember the rules yeah but what i can say is that normally whenever you have f this 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 f it is like f sometimes this is v uh to be honest i don't even remember my teacher teaching me this uh because it's not that important as you continue talking you will uh, like how do you say somebody will you know so normally go with f if you are not sure uh but uh okay i don't want to say anything wrong or i i will see if i can find some material but my teacher did not teach me this and i believe the reason may have been that it's not that important and normally people figure this out without like you know learning the rules did do i make sense mm-hmm. okay. yeah it, it will come with uh, yeah yeah one hint can be like you know whenever you have okay let's i let i should stop talk because i may give you some wrong information what i can say is that i'll look up some material but i can i can say say you with some assurance it's not a big deal you know you will figure this out yeah yeah okay any more questions yeah so uh we have only 30 minutes left so what we can do right now uh, is now of course now that you know how to frame sentence you know this is the basic thing about language so as i said there are three parts to a language there is vocabulary uh you yeah, someone posted something you can check out check this out sankit thank you very much so there are three parts to a language you have vocabulary you have grammar and you have practice grammar is what i am trying to help you with vocabulary you have to do on your own of course you know you can pay someone money to do it for you uh practice also you can pay someone money they also take money from other people and they'll put you all in a classroom and they will teach you but you, vocabulary and practice you can do on your own okay for practice you still need someone but vocabulary you don't need need no one you can just do the vocabulary practice on your own you know you can make a list of all the things that you want to say and see what the verbs are and just say it so now that you know how to frame simple sentences in german language please make a list of all the activities that you do from the time you wake up till you fall asleep you don't i mean if you don't want to do this all this job just make sure do the time, you know like make a list of all the activities that you do when you are working you know like from 9 to 5 whenever you work and then 
this will take of course take some time it will not happen immediately and find the correct german verbs to describe those activities for example i code i push you know push a code pull a code i commit a code i i mean okay whatever your profession is think of those activities yeah i attend i talk i speak i get you know i i i, I something like that and if i mean what i expect you know let's you should think that you are a very busy person and you do something new every minute meaning you should at least come up with 960 verbs that means you do something new every minute so you will have 60 minutes 60 words per minute 60 verbs times 16 hours 96 i hope the this is correct calculation if i'm not yeah so uh please do this yeah learn a lot of verbs again you can find you know as i said you can do it on your own i don't know what your job you know what your profession is about so you have to figure this out on your own it will take some time any questions about this homework okay if no question let us do something else you know as i said you have to make this list of the activities but of course because you have joined let's let me be nice i will give you some a list of 51 verbs which are important to my life you know i have made a list of the verbs that i think are important and i have done a, like you know i have chosen some word, verbs from those activities that i do and here are some 51 verbs some of them will be relevant to your life and you can use them from tomorrow onwards so what i want is i want someone to read these verbs and of course help us with the meanings anyone wants to read yeah ravish go ahead but you have to don't have to be fast read slowly we, everybody will get a chance let ravish read 5 to 10 words and then we can continue please keep your hands raised ravish please start reading read slowly as if you are teaching yeah. me help us with the yeah. meanings after every word if not i will help you with the meanings yeah sure. yeah thank yeah i would need that definitely yeah okay uh, i'll try uh ish Hore, hore. You know, so how uh, does I hear? Let, wait one second, right? So you said horror. It's not horror. How do you pronounce O? Oh, Lord, I'll teach you right now. So no, no, don't forget. Just make you know, say uh, a like you know, a of day. Say a. A. Say a. Now try to make a circle a. with your lips. Okay, and again, again try to say a. A. Yeah, that's the okay. sound of O. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah. Now you know, like. <laughs> yeah now yeah, okay, now you know how to do this yeah very good so oh, as i said okay. say a ish, and make a circle oh, uh, yeah yeah ish hore meaning uh, like yeah okay uh, i hear mm. ish pitch i speak express sure 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 pitch okay pitch sure i speak ish lazy i Lazy, read, read, correct, read. Okay, yeah. Uh, ish, type it. I write. Ish, cook it. I cook. So continue with the next five. Yeah, continue. Yeah, okay. Uh, ish, swim it. I swim. Ish, jog it. Uh, no, jog it. It's jog it. Yeah, it's jog it. Uh, I jog. Ish, uh, love it. I don't know how love it. almost like jogger but not so fast oh hi guys no no walk oh that is walk yeah. okay so jog, i walk you know, laufen can also mean to run but normally laufen means to walk you are not you know slowly yeah okay okay thanks uh, ish uh, bete uh, i don't know this word what do you people what do people do in a place of worship like mosque church or temple pray yeah. pray it's better yeah Okay. Uh, ish, pendle or pendle? Uh, I don't know this. Uh, do you go to office? Yeah, yeah. How do you travel? To, how do you go to office? Like public transport. Public? public transport means pendle. Ish pendle. I commute. Thank oh, commute. Very, okay, commute. Thank you. Thank you very much, thanks. Ravish. If anyone has any questions of these ten verbs, wants me to pronounce them one more time, but Ravish pronounced it almost correctly. Anyone? Any questions? Okay. If no more questions, uh, yes. Uh, I guess believe. Yeah. Let's give Rohan a chance. Rohan, you can start reading from eleven. Ish giver. Um, I give. Ish perkaufa. I um. Buy. No, just Ish the just the opposite. <laughs> okay. I per. Purchase I or buy. Okay. No, so sorry. Fair enough. I have to sell. Yeah, sell. Yeah. Sell. I I sell. 
Ich liebe, I love, ich en, entspanne, I don't know. Not entspanne, ah, entspanne. Don't try to guess, break the words, entspanne. What do you do after a long day at work? Relax. Yeah, that's it. Those who are going to study in Germany, if you study mechanical engineering or something with engineering, you will learn that, you will learn about, you know, like you stretch a rod and when you stretch a rod, there will be a tension in the rod and that tension is called Spannung. So an end, whenever an Spannung means is like an end is normally, you know, you can use end to uh, find the antonym of many things. So end spana is the opposite of spanan. If you like, you know, you take a rubber and you stretch it, you are developing tension. So you are span, you know, like spanan, and it's just the opposite end spanan. But again, here in a different context, end spanan means to relax. Continue. Ich One more time. Stressor. If you study mechanical engineering, you will have to calculate the spanning spanung in the rod. Sorry. Continue. Ich stressor, uh, stress stress. Yeah, I stress. Don't do it. I stress. Ich, I think. Ich glaube, I believe. It, those ich lerne. Are, one second. So, you know, denke means to think. Glaube means to believe. Quite often people will, in Germany, they will use these two things interchangeably. So, let's say, you know, your boss, uh, there is a presentation with a client and the client says, you know, like, can you do this job? And your boss says, okay, we'll get back to you. And your boss says, you know, what do you think? You know, like, can we do this job? Your boss may say, instead of saying was denken sie or was denkst du, your boss may say was glaubst du. Does he mean what do you believe? No, he still means what do you think. But they will use glauben, denken interchangeably. Continue. Ich lerne, uh, I learn. Ich unterrichte, I answer. No. If you have to learn, somebody has to. Do. Somebody has to somebody. teach. <laughs> <laughs> so, I... I teach. Yes. Ich arbeite. I work. Ich verdiene. No, this is again like you know. If you don't know, not sure, go with V. V. Verdiene. Ich, ich verdiene. Verdiene. Fair. 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 Verdiene. Ich verdiene. Uh, meaning, I don't know. If you work, why do you work? Of course, you do it for passion, but also you do it something that you get at the end of the month. What is that thing? On. It, yeah, on. Yeah. To make ich money. Yuba. Yeah, to make money. Ich Yuba. No, no. Idea. Again, Yuba. You know, uh, you know. Let's say, uh, you know, uh, every if you want to learn something new skill, some new skill, one thing is very important. You have to do a lot of practice. Very good. So to practice. Now, how to pronounce this um loud? Again, the you know the, the how Ravish pronounced uh, e, so he just you know made a circle with his lips and he tried to say a, so right mm -hmm. now uh, no he's tried to say a yeah now with uh, yeah I think I am forgetting the rule if you want to say we'll talk about it later <laughs> but normally if you want to say this you say it like uh, you say u and it's it should be, you know how do you say few. Just say, you know, like, it's a nice view. Mm -hmm. And don't, like, that that view of view, that's how you, you say it. Yeah. Ich juge. Yeah, yeah, very good. Almost, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ich becke. Uh, ah, baka, beke. come on. Ba, baka. ah. Baka, ich baka. Yeah, meaning? Bek. Yeah, Ravish, don't help, please. But, but thank you. Yeah, Ravish. Big, yeah, Cont yeah. Thank you very much, guys. The yeah. call will end in two minutes. What we can do is I will end this call and then I will post. You all have the link to the join the grammar, the vocabulary part, right? Please join that one. If you don't have it, I will post the link in the group. So I will post the link in the group. Please join using that one, okay? I will come.